Hello, I'm going to show you how you can check to see if a font is installed on your system. So this is the most popular method used for this and it returns a bool denoting whether or not the font is installed and it accepts a family name for the font to check to see if it's installed or not. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare our test font in a using statement and the test font has to pass in the name that's passed into the method the um, family name, the one that you want to check to see if it exists, and then whatever after that, so font size 10, font uh, style regular. Then we're going to create our um, strict comparison flags here. I do believe this is a, a flag denom. And after that, we're going to use the compare method and compare the family name passed in to the name that is in the resolved object. So if our font has been found, then the family name that's passed in will be equal to the name within the font. Otherwise, the uh, test font will actually be a default font, and in our case, it will be Microsoft Sans Serif. Then we're going to test to see if this uh, the return value of this compare method is equal to zero. If it is, then our font is installed. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about if the font object is not resolved to the actual font. So I'm going to type in some random stuff here and see, let's uh, put a mouse over the, the test font and you'll notice that the uh, name of the test font is Microsoft Sans Serif. That means that it's not equal to the original font name being DFDFD or whatever. That's also what is passed into the method. And that's how we're, we're comparing these two strings here to see if the um, object has resolved to the actual font or not. So if you go into um, the font family thing here, the uh, font family object, and you just go into the uh, non-public members, here's something that we can't set here, but it's pretty obvious what it is. Create default on fail. So when it fails, it's going to create a default, like I said. And um, not much more to it. So in the next overload that I'm going to show you, we are actually going to make use of the original font name. And using this um, method here, this overload, you don't have to create a test font ahead of time. You can actually use pre-existing fonts that you've defined outside of the method. And you may be thinking, well, this might be a bit more efficient because we're not creating a test font and we're actually using a font that we're going to be using later uh, outside of the method. But really, I did some benchmarks and there's no real performance increase doing it this, this way over the other. I was pretty surprised too. Um, so basically we're doing the exact same thing except we're going to make use of the font.originalFontName property of the font passed into the method and compare it to the um, actual name of the font after, which is the uh, resolve name. So the original font name is always going to be what you pass into the font fonts constructor. And this overload is going to work just as fine as the other one. So let's pass in our uh, font here. So here I'm actually creating a font outside of the method and using that font and testing it to see if the font is installed uh, later on. The good thing about this overload is that you can easily adjust it to be an extension method and it will look nice to a certain extent depending on how you're using it. 